Hello, I'm Reese Martin, President of the Oklahoma Route 66 Association. I'm here to provide you with the latest update regarding the endangered ribbon road segment of historic Route 66 in Northeast Oklahoma. As you'll recall, the last update we posted was a dire message about Ottawa County's plan to proceed with milling out the historic asphalt lane and replacing it, along with widening, paving, and striping the shoulders. This plan will fundamentally change the road and destroy its historic integrity. Route 66 is more than just the road itself, of course, but this unique stretch of nine-foot wide pavement deserves to be saved as intact as possible. For many months now, the Oklahoma Route 66 Association has engaged local, regional, and national leaders to communicate our concern. We've attended meetings in the city of Miami and the state capital in Oklahoma City. Whenever we felt there was a breakthrough and perhaps a compromise could be reached, the plan remained the same. Finally, we have some positive news to share. Several days after the association installed a series of quirky Burma Shave style signs along the Ribbon Road and the modern alignment of Route 66, the City Council in Miami met. In that meeting, the city formally opposed the county's work plan. In response, the county finally made a change. One mile of the Ribbon Road has been excluded from the county's proposed construction plan. Here's a map to give you a better idea of this amendment. The section of Ribbon Road near Miami covers roughly three miles. It's highlighted here in dark blue. The westernmost mile, highlighted in yellow, is the section in the best condition and is the mile that has now been excluded from construction. The county has said they will leave it entirely alone and it will stay exactly as it is today. First off, many thanks to the local and state officials that worked hard to get us to this point. This latest development would not have happened without the support of Mayor Bless Parker, Representative Steve Bayshore, Oklahoma Department of Transportation Director Tim Gatz, Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell, and others. Their unified front and desire to save part of this road made all the difference. Of course, that does mean the two other miles will still undergo a dramatic transformation. That leaves the question, where do we go from here? The Oklahoma Route 66 Association had our quarterly board meeting this past weekend and we discussed this development. We asked ourselves, do we continue to push and advocate strongly for the additional two miles that are still in danger, or do we focus our efforts on the one mile the county has stepped back from? The board was unanimous in our vote to focus on the one mile of Ribbon Road that will remain. Our work is far from over. The mile is in the best shape, yes, but it will continue to deteriorate due to the gravel shoulders and grading that occurs regularly. Sections of the asphalt and concrete are in poor condition and still need to be repaired. There's a tremendous opportunity for storytelling and better signage to ensure that Route 66 travelers from around the world don't miss this special part of the Mother Road. We will continue to work with local officials to, to find a way to adopt this mile and help make it the best it's ever been. I understand that many in the preservation community will be unhappy with this decision. There aren't many places left where you can experience an original piece of Route 66 under your own tires, surrounded by a landscape that is mostly unchanged from those early days of cross-country travel. We feel that this could be a great opportunity to work together and make something really special in time for the 2026 centennial. Thank you to everybody from around the world for your support so far. The Change.org petition was viewed nearly 40,000 times and it has over 2,600 signatures. This initiative was brought up many times in the conversation I had with local and regional leaders. It made a difference and it helped get us to where we are today. As we learn what's possible to preserve and repair the remaining mile of Ribbon Road, we'll be in touch. If you aren't a member of the Oklahoma Route 66 Association, please join us. Our team of volunteers relies on your support and engagement to do what we do. Again, thank you, and we'll see you on the road.